Hey guys, Lily here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I sublimate a design on a bleach t-shirt. If that's something you're interested in, then feel free to keep on watching. Should you have any questions along the way, drop them down below and I will do my best to assist you in the best way possible. So I went ahead and just dragged in a design. This is the design I'm going to be putting onto a t-shirt today. I will be using Silhouette Studio to print my design. I always like to flip it horizontal. I do this just because I print from Silhouette a lot and I'm always using it for HTV and HTV you always have to mirror the design and sometimes I forget to do that at the end so I always do it at the beginning so that way I don't have any issues. I've made so many mistakes and printed so many designs backwards that I just went ahead and made this a part of my process to always do it at the beginning. So here I am just adjusting my design. I like to get it um, to the biggest size possible. This is going to be an 8.5 by 11 sheet. So I'm just making sure everything is fine, nothing is off-centered. So once I have my design size to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and print it right from Silhouette Studio. So I'm just going to go ahead and head over to File. I hit File, I hit Print, and then the Print menu pops up. I will be using an Epson 2720, so I'm going to go ahead and click that one you could just go ahead and choose whatever printer you're using here i will just be selecting the settings that work for me these are the ones that i find to be useful and the ones that print out the most vibrant these don't work for you i just recommend kind of messing with them and seeing what settings work best for you you can see right here there is a little box that says mirror image if you didn't mirror the image inside the silhouette studio program then you would have clicked that little button right there but for some reason, I don't know why, I always forget to, to click that little button. So I just go ahead and always make sure that I do it in Silhouette Studio. I just flip horizontal, that way I never have that issue. so I send it to the printer so here's just a quick little snippet of the design printing this is sublimation so the designs do take quite a bit to print something like this may take maybe two minutes um, if it's printing out really quickly then that may that may that may mean that your settings are incorrect some way so I would just double check on that Once it's all done and printed, um, this is the way it looks. So the colors aren't that vibrant right now, but when pressed onto the t-shirt, it's gonna be completely different. Customer wanted this design on a bleached shirt, so I went ahead and bleached this shirt. It's all ready. I'm going to press this shirt for five seconds just to remove any moisture that may be on the shirt. I noticed that the pressure was very, very light, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mess with the uh, knobs for my heat press to make sure that I have the pressure set to about a medium. Went ahead and pressed it for the five seconds, like I said, to remove any moisture from the shirt. Once all the moisture is removed, I like to grab a lint roller and roll all over the t-shirt. Some people don't do this, but I personally love doing it because the times that I haven't done this, 
there's like little pieces of lint left behind and they always turn blue we do not want little pieces of sublimated blue lint all over our shirt and then when i'm all done with that i like to go ahead and grab a piece of parchment paper to put it in between the t-shirt i know some people don't do this but i also like to take this step because the times that i haven't done this the ink transferred from the front of the t-shirt onto the back of the t-shirt and that's not what we want sometimes a lot of ink doesn't transfer but i just rather be safe than have to redo a whole t-shirt all over again then once i'm done with that step i like to go ahead and just grab my design it is this square piece of paper i like to rip off all around the edges the design if you can see what i'm doing here i do this because if it's pressed sometimes it gives like a harsh press line from the paper and that's not really what we want and then sometimes if there's any ink that we do not see and it's pressed onto the t-shirt it does transfer onto the t-shirt and it does mess up the t-shirt so i just take this extra step just in case And then I'm going to go ahead and just place my design on the shirt. I'm going to align everything and make sure everything is nice, straight, and centered. I always make sure to double check with the ruler. And once all that is perfect, I like to grab a few pieces of heat transfer tape and tape the design onto the t-shirt because if I don't do this, sometimes if I lift up my press and the design like, kind of, I guess, flops up, it does leave ghosting and that's not what we want. And these are just all the steps that I do to make sure that um, I don't have any errors along the way or have any mess ups and then I have to redo a t-shirt. So I'm going to just go ahead and cover my design with a piece of paper. And on top of the piece of paper, I'm going to cover it with a Teflon sheet just to protect everything. Alrighty, and the last thing we have to do is press the shirt. I usually press my shirts at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It is like a medium to heavy pressure for 60 seconds. This does depend on the kind of sublimation paper you're using. I will link the sublimation paper that I use down in the description box below in case you want to pick that up. But just always make sure to follow the directions that come on your sublimation paper. Alrighty, and once the 60 seconds are over, we're going to go ahead and remove the Teflon sheet, remove the piece of paper. If you can see here, the ink did transfer. That is why I put a piece of Teflon sheet on top of the paper, so that way this doesn't get onto my heat press. Alrighty, when we're all done with that, we're going to go ahead and just remove the sublimation paper. And you can see here, the colors did transfer very nicely. This is what the ending result of the sublimation paper looks like. I'm all done with that. I like to go ahead and grab the lint roller again and just roll right on over it just in case there's any little harsh lines that did come through because of the paper. Just a quick little lint roll. All right, and once we're all done with that, I'm going to go ahead and remove the piece of paper that I had in between the shirt. I don't know if you can see here, there is some ink that transferred through. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but a little bit of ink did transfer onto the piece of paper, which is why I like to always protect my um, t-shirt. Alrighty, and we're all done. This is how I go about sublimating my t-shirts. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them down in the comments below and I will do my best to assist you in the best way possible. Alrighty, I hope this video was helpful. I do have Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. I would greatly appreciate the support over there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.